I S U P K. They try to tell me I can't win all because of the skin I'm in. But then I look in the mirror again, and then we realize we better than them. We better than them. They divided and they conquered my kin, but separated by the pigmentation of our skin. It's just that white supremacy agenda again. They want your mind and gold, cutting sugar cane, turning cotton jigs. We left the plantation, then they pushed us into tenements. Police patrolling, hunting all my people like we're venison. The government's the criminals, they the real terrorists. Moving more coke than a Cuban watching pelicans. Selling all the dope, trying to kill us with the medicine. You a slave if you think that we're American. America was great before the pilgrims. From side of settlement, Trump gets an office, black uniting with the Mexicans, black Hispanic Haitians, Jamaicans, we all relatives. We are the ISUPK, out of 125th Street, Harlem, New York. We are not affiliated with any Christian group, any Muslim group, any Egyptologists, any fake prophets you may see on the corner. The ISUPK is the only body that celebrate 51 years of Passover. The rest of them is in pastors that just came yesterday trying to do what we do. We are under commanding General Yohanna. Right. Who today is like Moses back then. He is the person in charge of the nation of Israel today. And today we are coming to you, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, and letting you know that Christianity is a lie and the kingdom of heaven is for you, black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. Right. Right. Because Psalms chapter 106 verse 40. Therefore, was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people? Right, right. Insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. Right, right. Verse 41. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. Right, right. And they that hated them ruled over them. Right. So the Lord talking here about the slavery, the captivities that black people went through. And this is not the only slavery. We went through captivities before. Every time we set against the Maasai, he put us into captivity to whatever nation ruling on that day and at that time. Right? Go ahead. Verse 42. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Right? Go ahead. Verse 43, many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Right? So, in this scripture here, right? In this scripture here, we're going to get some understanding. To understand that we have nothing to do with the Christian church. Right. The book of Psalms, chapter 106. Verse 41, and he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them rule over them. Right. So the Lord said, He gave us into the hand of the heathen. Right? If He gave you into the hand of the heathen and to somebody who hates you, oh, you could say you love them and go in the Christian church and sit down with them. The God, Lord of Israel, ordained them to hate you. So how you could go against God's order and make them love you by going and sitting in the Christian church? Right. That madness. Right. You understand? If he say they're going to hate you and oppress you, that is what they're going to do. That's right. right. You cannot go against the will of the Most High. Right, right. But you have been lied to and brainwashed from slavery to this present time. Right. That's why I believe that you and them 
could come together and merge together. It's like saying a lion and a zebra could exist together in love and harmony. It cannot happen. Right. One is the predator and the other is the prey. Right. right. That is why the Lord classified them as beasts. Right. And right. he classified us as sheep. That's right. Right. The book of Ascensions, chapter 5, number 66. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin heard it, they came to know what that noise of trumpets should mean. Right. So what going on there? We just came out of our captivity and we building back the temple of God. And when we start to blow with trumpets, the heathens and them hear it. And they want to know what the children and Israel and them doing. So they draw near. Go ahead. Verse 67. And they perceived that the war of the captivity did build the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. Right. You understand? So they perceived that the children of Israel, the chosen people, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, are building back the temple to the temple of God. Go ahead. Verse 68. So they went to Zerubbabel and, and Jesus and to the chief of the families and said unto them, We will build together with you. Right. So the healer, see, we build the temple of God and say, hey, What's going on? We're going to build together with you. Just like in Christianity, just like in Muslim, we build in together and we worship in together in this building. You understand? Here are what we people and them say. Go ahead. Verse 69. For we likewise, as ye, do obey your Lord and do sacrifice unto him from the days of Asbareth. As right. So the hidden trying to push themselves in between. Right. But we're going to hear the response of our people. You understand? And it didn't change up to now. Go ahead. Uh, of Asbareth. The king of the Assyrians who brought us hither. Verse 70. Then the Rubabel and Jesus, the chief of the families of Israel, said unto them, It is not for us and you to build together and house unto the Lord our God. Right. It is not for the children of Israel to build no house. Or to be in no house that is called the house of God together with any Eden, right, right. with any East Indian, right, right. with right. any Syrian. Right. Right. We are separate people. Right. Read that again. Then the Zerubbabel and Jesus, the chief of the families of Israel, said unto them, It is not for us and you to build together and hold unto the Lord our God. Right? It's not for we and you to build together the house of God. You can go and build the Christian church. You can go and build the Muslim mosque. Right. You can go and build a Hindu temple. Right. And dwell there. Right. right. But we're not dwelling there with you. Right. We are separate people. Right. Our holy people. Right. Unto the Lord thy God. Right. Right. We don't join hand in hand with heathens. Right. Because every time we do that, they pollute we. Right. They encourage we into buying the smokes. They encourage we into worshiping the idol gods. Right. right. Ungodly and godly cannot dwell together. Right. It's like oil and water. It does not mix. Right. Word. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20. And verse 26, and he shall be holy unto me. For I, the Lord, am holy and have severed you from other people that it should be mine. Right? Sever we from who? Other people. Right. So the Lord said, He severed His chosen people, which is the children of Israel, the blacks. Hispanics and Native Indians right. from other people. Right. And when he's saying other people, he's talking about other races. Right. He separates me from them. Right. Right. So when he say other people, he's talking about 
other races. He have severed us. Severed mean it cut off. Right. We no longer join to them. If your arm is cut off and it is ground, it don't join to your body anymore. He severed us from the other races, right. from the other people. Right. When? The book of Second Ezra's chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Right? So he say, out of Adam, everybody come. You understand? Now we're going to find out who is the Lord's chosen people. Go ahead. And the people also whom thou hast met, um, whom thou hast chosen. Right? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So it's like 20 are we here? But the Lord chose what are we to move forward with? This is what he's trying to tell you here. Go ahead. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right? Everything you see here, every single thing you see here, trees, earth, everything, he made for our sakes. Right. Go ahead. Verse 56. As for the other people, again, the other people, meaning other races. Yeah, what are you going to say about them? Go ahead. Which also come of Adam. They are said that they are nothing. The Lord said that you are nothing. Go ahead. But be like unto spittle. But be un like unto spit. That is what spittle means. Spittle means spit. Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Right? If I go in up the hill and you get out, and I'm toting up my bucket of water, and a drop fall out, I don't care about a drop. Right. That insignificant. Right. I care about what in the bucket. Right. Right. And that is how we compare you other nations. As a drop that fall from a bucket. Right. right. Verse 57. And now, O oh Lord, Behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us. Right? These heathens, who have ever been reputed as nothing, it was a custom back then for we people to know that these other nations are nothing. You understand? Have begun to be lords over us. In this time, they are lords over us because we sin against the Mosai and he put us into slavery. Right. But aforetime, the prophets on them know that these other people were nothing. Right. 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 But now we feel an equality. We. Because are we in captivity, the light are we through Christianity and through Islam. Right. When the crusade wars was going on, when they were doctrinating people, right. and in slavery also. Right. So now we feel we equal with them. We cannot be equal with them when the Lord say we are above all people. That's right. The of the earth. That's right. Go ahead. The book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Right? What are you talking about there? Is the kingdom of heaven that come in. When Christ come again the second time, he's going to set up a kingdom that's going to last forever. Go ahead. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Right. The kingdom shall not be left to other people, other races. Again, the same word. Go ahead, read it again. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people right the kingdom is not going to be left to other people the lord is not going to give the kingdom to ungodly nations right it is going to come back to you black man right. hispanic man and native indian man right. right so you have to understand who you are you are special people that's right above 
all heathens upon the face of the earth. Right, right. The book of 2 Ezra's chapter 4 and verse 23. For it was not my mind to be curious of the high things. Right. So this is a here speaking. What are we prophets? Go ahead. But as such as passed by us daily, namely, wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen. Right? Israel is given up as a reproach to the heathen. That is why the commissioner could run with people and them in his city. And do we all them evil? You understand? Because we sell against with power. Go ahead. And for what? Cause the people whom thou hast led is given over unto ungodly nations. Right? The Lord said, as chosen people are given over to ungodly nations. Good. That alone can tell you, you cannot go in the Christian church and sit down with them. Because the Lord called them ungodly nations. How could godly people and ungodly nations sit down together in the same house and say we praise in God? Right. What God the praising? Right. What God the praising? Right. The ungodly. The Lord just said it in the book there. Right. Read it again. Wherefore, Israel is given as a reproach to the heathen over unto ungodly nations. Right, ungodly nations. So when they go and sit down with the Arab man in the mosque, you're saying them with a member of an ungodly nation. Right. When they go and sit down with the white man in the Catholic church, you're saying them with a member of an ungodly nation. Right. right. You are holy people. Just like the prophet say, it is not for us to build the house of God together. You go and build whatever you want to worship. Go and build your big rock and go and worship that. Right. We're going to worship the house of God. Right. Right. The white man is the devil. Our history is evidence. Who say I'm racist by definition? I'm prejudiced. Got a right to be hesitant. As the African Methodists, we the endangered species. They'd rather protect the elephants. We the sons of God like a seraphim. God shows the people from the Old and New Testament. Black power, Kwong Yasha Allah, black excellence. We your new rulers bow down to your eminence. They try to tell me I can't win all because of the skin I'm in. But then I look in the mirror again and then we realize we better than them. We better than them. They try to make you think rich. Why? To make your whole life a big risk. So what you do? Commit a crime, get locked up, come home, can't get a job. Man, that shit just make you think bricks. They trap you. Ain't no way out of this poverty. Fuck being the prodigy. Cause the world say you ain't shit. And then they give you religion. As soon as all that fails, they like to make you feel it ain't this. It's you. So what you do, you just can't get it right. Yeah, they like to say the truth hurts. But well, watch me take a life. And they like to keep you in darkness so you can't get the Christ. Not knowing like Jacob's sons, he is real light. Get it? So